Hi y'all. So I got this baby over here off of eBay. It was an unknown condition. It's a BNK Precision model 2120B oscilloscope. And so when I first got it, I kind of put the panel into the default its default settings. So I've got the intensity and focus somewhere in the middle. Um, auto trigger on auto somewhere in the middle also. The source is going to be channel 1 because I'm going to be messing with the channel 1 pretty much only, but channel 2 behaves just the same as channel 1 I tried that before. Um, I don't know what this hold off does, but I turned it down all the way. The X position is um, right in the middle at 12 o'clock, and so are the Y positions for both channels, and then the variable sweep is off as well. I've got the time division at 1 millisecond. Both channels are set to AC at the volt of uh, voltage of one, one volt per division each channel, and then I'm going to only be looking at channel one. So when I powered it up, there was nothing on the screen. There's a there's a fleeting trace right there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh doing something so let me turn it off try and replicate it again give it a couple seconds and turn it back on you should see that fleeting trace on the screen and it's gonna go, to go away eventually so the first thing I tried is messing with the with the knobs so the focus knob did not do anything for me so I left it at 12 o'clock then the intensity knob oh there's a trace, let me get it back. Right there. There's a very faint trace, as you can see. So at this point, I connected the first channel, I got this probe connected to the positive lead of the channel, and then the ground pin grounded over here. So when I connect the input of the first channel to the 2 volt square, wave calibration signal the display changes somewhat but there's definitely no square wave so you can see flat trace and then there's something else so let me try and mess with the focus okay there's some resemblance of a square wave mess with the intensity okay this is where it gets interesting so turning the intensity all the way down as you expect there's nothing on the screen but then as you turn the intensity up slowly the trace appears of what looks like a square wave but then it sort of flattens goes away as I keep increasing the intensity the intensity goes up but the square wave actually inverts the uh, the voltage goes up and then it disappears. As I increase the intensity even more, nothing happens to the screen. Turn it back down slowly. Try and get that trace back. Nothing happens all the way down. Go back up. Okay. There's some some something of a trace. Um, let me try and increase the voltage. This is barely visible. Or sorry, I should say decrease it. Okay. At 200 millivolts, the trace disappeared. At 500 millivolts, it's there, but it's moving. So let me try and zoom in. Change the time interval. Okay. There's some sort of a square wave try and get the focus better okay intensity up as I hit uh, increase the intensity the wave inverts and also as you can see the traces are not parallel well maybe you can't see it very well but uh, the, the upper peaks are skewed upwards the lower peaks are skewed downwards and also the signal is moving never seen that before from the 
each unit, but um, try moving left and right. Okay, signal appears at the very left of the spectrum. And let's see, is it? Does it make sense? So we are at half a volt. And we have one, and let's call it almost two. So four squares, almost. And that's a two volt signal, so four times 0.5 is about two volts. Calibration seems okay. But uh, let me try and scroll to the right. See what happens. Okay. The trace is gone. And then the opposite end of the picture is also visible, but then it changes as I tweak the X position. In the middle, there's no trace. But what I noticed when I pull this knob, which gives me a 10x magnification on the X, I get something. So there's some trace if I decrease the um, time frame I got the signal that I expected exactly four squares four units on the display which amounts to two volts and uh, it looks about right as I shifted left and right it doesn't decrease in amplitude or invert like it does when I don't use the 10x magnification on the X it seems to behave right also the um, the X and the Y axes work so I just showed you the X the Y works just as expected and I guess I should show you the what the Y does without the magnification so this is the Y going down and then Y going up. And this is its rightmost position. Then go right back to the center. And this is what I got. The traces are again skewed. Um, same thing happens in DC. Yeah. So at this point my question is, am I doing something wrong? Oh, so with the 10x. When I increase the intensity, it gets the 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 peaks get slopes, just like in the absence of the 10x magnification. So the top peaks look like this, the bottom peaks are sloped this way. And then as I decrease the intensity, that effect goes away. I can kind of get it to where they're pretty much parallel with the with the lines on the screen. Let's see if the focus helps. Yep, I can get it nice and sharp. But then as I increase the intensity, I get the this effect. Let's see if moving it down the x-axis helps. And no, it does not make a difference. So, can you just tell me, am I doing something wrong? Am I like not looking at the right region or do I have some settings wrong that um, the unmagnified trace behaves this weird or something wrong with the oscilloscope? Alright, thanks, bye.